Good job, buddy. Wow! Yeah, so huge. What a fail! Mama, here's another. <laughs> what? Oh, thank you. Ready? Redemption. Let's see. <laughs> wow! Three. I got three out of that That's one. That's terrible. <laughs> Let's see you do any better. Eight. Wow. Okay. Like ridiculous! How did that just happen? I'm a dad. That's what dads are good at. Gross. Dad, dad. Gross. He's crazy. The key. Either the key is to get a round one, nice and flat, kind of big, not too small. And then when you throw it, you throw it like this with your finger on it, and you have to spin the rock as you throw it. But you also have to throw it low. Okay. Here, All right, see. scoot back so Daddy can do it. You can do the next one. I'll get you one. You yeah, one. you do that one. Wow. That is impressive. <gasps> you did it, Eli! That was awesome! Good job! Do it again. Let's see what you got. Do it just like Daddy taught you. Or not. <laughs> good job, buddy. Hey, good morning. So it's day four of our trip, and we're all packed up and ready to hit the road. Uh, but first, I wanted to stop and show our appreciation of uh, Germans and how much they appreciate edible gardens and uh, planting tree fruit trees and stuff like that. So just in this one little lot that's probably half an acre, they probably have uh, 25 or 30 different edible types of plants and trees, probably 20 different fruit trees like cherry, apple, peach. Uh, they've got a couple of varieties that we don't have in the US, so it's kind of cool to see that. Stuff that I've eaten before, but I've never seen it growing, so it's cool to see it growing. Uh, but they have stuff like lavender, it's not really edible per se. Um, but it's still beneficial and useful. They have strawberries, and it's it's a very typical thing for Germans to do. They they grow a lot of their own food, and we think it's really cool. And there's strawberries and raspberries right behind us. Um, but yeah, we're all packed up now, ready to hit the road. We're gonna see some more castles, and then camp out again tonight before we finish up our trip tomorrow. picture. Lorelei is the muse that was said to distract the boats when they were coming around the turn and it would make them crash and so a lot of boats would crash right here and so it's probably just because it's dangerous but they yeah. said it was because it was a pretty woman up on the cliff. They said that she had long blonde hair and I believe she was naked. So now it's a famous spot to camp and <laughs> a lot of people go up there to see the sights. It's really beautiful. Evidently, I was going too slow. Yeah. 
park here, man. So I'm not really sure what happened here, but we totally spaced on filming. So as you can see on that sign there, that's Sunik Castle. Uh, we've got a couple pictures here, but no videos. It's a nice looking castle, but it was closed because of COVID. But it's a nice little castle. I think it'd be fun to visit when it's open. Um, as you can see from all the other campers up there, they're all pretty small campers like ours. So the, uh, the road up there was pretty sketchy. I wouldn't recommend a big one going up there. So this is uh, Reichstein Castle. It looked pretty nice too. It's got really good reviews. We might hit that up sometime. Um, and then this is the last castle we went to for the day, uh, Rheinstein Castle, and it was awesome. And we kind of messed up filming at the beginning of this one because parking was crazy and because we forgot our masks in the car and got like halfway up the hill and realized it. But we filmed all the important stuff. You saw a dragon? Yeah. There's a dragon in this little area right beneath us. Are you kidding me? Oh, you boys are so pretty. Sarah, you would look so pretty in that dress. You're a princess too, you know that? Where did we just go? Um, to a castle. What did you like about the castle? Uh, a dragon. It did have a dragon. That was awesome, wasn't it? What did you like about the castle, Savannah? Uh, I liked it when I saw the dragon. I was just being silly. You were acting scared? Yeah. That was so fun. Yeah, it's probably one of our favorite castles we've been to yet. Highly recommend it. Now we're off to our next spot. We just got done eating lunch. I don't know if I... Oh, yep, yeah, I do turn here. Okay, um, <laughs> head off to our next spot, which is at a park where we're going to take a nap. We're going to have a nap. We're going to play for a little bit. And then we're going to make about a 30-minute drive to our camping place for the night, which is at a 
winery. It's not really a winery, it's where they make the wine. So we might get a little bit of insight into the wine making process. It should be cool. So they're in the bus taking a nap. And the playground's right there. And there's a awesome castle over there. There's two castles. Two there's, castles. Yeah, there's two of them. We're gonna go have some fun. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. We just got to our campsite for the night and it's at a winery here in Maine's, I believe. And it has the cutest little party area for the kids. I'll show you. It's all underneath this big old willow. And when we got here, the owner gave Austin a couple of wine glasses and a bottle of wine and it's been really great <laughs> hey Eli what are you eating for dinner French fries and chicken nuggets. Chicken what? Chicken nuggets. What's mama eating? What's that? What's mommy eating? She's vulgar. That's my strawberry show. It reminds you of the strawberry show? Huh? Do you mean cloudy with a chance of meatballs too? Huh? Mmm, that's delicious. It's a cheeseburger, right? Yeah. Can you say cheeseburger? <laughs> cheeseburger. Nailed it. <laughs> <sighs> All right, it's gonna wrap up our last day on our trip. I uh, hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Uh, and we'll catch up with y'all tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Say bye. bye. bye.